Now, whatever I love most, I am going to fear losing most. And then I'm going to hope in it most. So everything really kind of stems from love. Now, what if the thing that I love most is money? What if? If the thing that owns my heart, meaning now, now money has entered into my heart and taken over. So now my greatest love is for money and for status and you know, for wealth. Then what happens is I no longer own my money. My money owns me. And that's the essence of what happens when something is in the heart so much that you've, it's just like the boat, right? The boat that allowed the dunya to enter, the boat that allowed the ocean to enter. So when money goes in the heart, it starts to own the person. And now that person will do anything for money. In essence, whatever is in my heart becomes my master. See, we are all slaves. We like to think that we're, you know, that we like to think that if we don't believe in God, that we're actually free, right? I don't have a master. I'm free. I'm not, you know, I don't, I don't even believe in God. But we actually are all slaves. We actually all have a master of some sort. But the difference is that when a person becomes Muslim, they have, they have chosen to make their master the master of masters. So their master is actually God instead of anything else. When you do not enslave yourself to God, then you enslave yourself to something else. You're always enslaved to something. So what you've enslaved yourself instead is something else. Maybe it's money. Maybe it's society's standards. Maybe it's your own desires. But you are a slave. The question is, what's your master? That's the only question you have to ask. And this is the message that the Prophet ﷺ is telling us in the hadith. That there is that lump of flesh and whatever captures that lump, whatever captures your heart, that's going to be what then controls the rest of the body. And if, the bo if that lump of flesh is set right, then the entire body will be set right. If, if in your heart the thing that you love most is God, then whatever God says, then you say, we hear and we obey. Sami'ana wa atana. That's the essence of submission. That we don't submit to these other things. We can love other things. We can love to be fashionable. We can love to have money. We can love people in our lives. But we do not submit to those things. We do not become slaves to anything other than God. And that's the essence of, of what is it that controls your heart.